<clears throat> the key to rigging this bait is not to screw it right into the nose of the bait like you would think to do. If you, you don't want to screw it straight in like that. You want it to go under the chin. You want that screw lock going under the chin and going up at a 45 degree angle. And what that's going to do, that's going to let the spring on this screw lock catch that foam and it's going to give you a little more strength in your cast and when you're catching fish so it's not going to tear the bait up as easily. But also, it's going to get the head of that frog out of the water when you're casting it. So I'm going to rig this one up and I'll actually, I'll pass it around and let everybody look at how it's going in there and then we come up after the deal's over and everybody can see it also. But you can see right there how the, the hook eye is actually going in the chin of that bait. And you can see the top where the hook eye's coming out of the top right there. So it's going in it at a 45 degree angle. And the cool thing about that six odd owner beast hook is when you rig it like that, you take the point of that hook and put it all the way at the very back of the frog. So it's going to eliminate on your short strikes because it's putting that hook way in the back. And the way it's designed, you don't even stick the hook point back in the bait. You can see how right there, it just sets right flat on the bait and it takes up the whole bait. So you're, not, you're gonna have less short strikes than you would with a smaller hook or something like that. But that's the way I rig the, my air frog. And again, what that's gonna allow you to do when you're fishing grass or something, it's gonna keep that frog's head out of the grass where it can, it's gonna set at the water level. If you can picture, that's about the water level and that's the angle that frog's gonna set at. So it's got its feet kind of down in the water and its head sticking out and it lets you walk it. You can pop it like you would a pop R. I catch a lot of fish doing that, especially on grass patches. I've got some videos on Tackle Warehouse, some vlog or vlogs that we did this year that I caught them like that over isolated grass patches. It'd just be a, a grass patch three or four feet around just out off the bank and I'd throw the frog up there, buzz it up to that grass patch and Right when it got to the edge, I would just kill it and let the frog, frog sit there for a couple seconds. Then I'd pop it like a pop R. Just pop it on top of that grass mat. Let it set, pop it, pop it. And what that does is when fish are in, in that grass, a lot of times it's, it's hard to get them to hone in on that frog and get a clear visual of where that bait's at under, when they're under the grass and the frog's sitting on top of it. They hear it coming and they know it's there but they can't really get dialed in on it. And by popping your rod, I mean, I'm making water fly this high in the air over top of that mat. I mean, I'm really popping it very aggressive, but the frog's only moving an inch or two at the time. So each time I pop it, that frog's just jumping forward about an inch, but the, these big paddle tails are throwing water six to eight inches in the air and making a big commotion in a small area. And I can really work this bait in that small area for, 10 or 15 seconds and get that fish to commit if he's in that grass patch and he'll blow up and usually time by doing that and working it slower and making all that commotion they don't miss it near as bad as they would if you were just creeping it along real slow I mean I've caught them before on this thing jerking it over grass mats and it looks like it's cutting cartwheels I'm jerking it so hard I mean this the frogs just coming through the mat flying back and forth and you pause it pop it again and they blow up through it and look like they eat the grass mat and everything. But does anybody have any questions on how I've got this bait rigged here? See it just going under the chin and afterwards everyone come up and check it out. I mean, you can see how the, the eye of that screw lock's coming straight through the top of the head. The, the angle of that is what you want. That's you folks, information is pouring over. If you want to learn more about every lake, how to fish shallow deep in between, skipping docks and rocks and cranking, slow wiggling, chatter smattering, you get it at Bash U. Get on Bash U TV, check it out, sign up, be a member, be part of it folks. Keep learning.